All right. We need we to move on to the next Move on to the painting. Thank right. you all very much for showing up. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, everyone, can you help me do my HOA? Oh, yeah, of course. I'll buy any You helped me a couple of years ago with that. Uh, yeah, I'll help you again. Point out, so you helped me with that. Uh, you can buy any time, okay? Thank you. Hey, hey, buddy. How are you? Loving it here still. What? I'm loving it here still. <laughs>
<laughs> this guy's been a hammer since day one. Man. He's never done. Um, hi, my name is Philip. I work with Coastal Painting. We're going to be coming in. To, this is now the painting presentation of this. Uh, well, this day in this meeting. Um, anybody in the room know anything about paint? <laughs> okay. Well, I, I try to give a little bit more than just talking about paint because. Everything in Florida, nothing's waterproof, am I correct? When it comes to the exterior of your building, I want to call it the envelope. You talk about stucco, you talk about soffit, you talk about fascia, you talk about the gutters. What we do with Coastal being a complete top to bottom company, you'll see a lot of the dark browns, soffits, they're fading. Okay? A lot of y'all can drive around and look at some of the areas that we've previously painted and how brand new they look. The metal that comes out of the factory, the soffit material and with the gutter material, it's a factory coating. It's not the best. It's made to look pretty for about a year or two and then it starts fading. What we do as a prevention company, we come in, we pressure wash your whole outside envelope, we put a clear sealer on it, and the clear sealer helps seal the cracks, anything that can get into that house, and then we put the paint on top of it. It also helps bond the paint to the stucco. It's very important that when we pressure wash your house, we get all of the residue and the chalkiness of all the degraded paint that's already been put on it, most of it off. Will it leave color? No, it's usually an all chalky substance, okay? That's when we'll go around and caulk, perimeter caulk around the windows, the exterior doors. And then what we'll do is put the sealer on and then put the super paint on it. We're using Sherwin-Williams out here. There's a store down in Ruskin about two and a half miles south of here. Wanda? I'm not sure about that, but she's the store manager down there. And we have um, the colors that we're going to be putting on besides the Mystic Place that they're going to talk about changing the colors there. But is there anybody here that has a single family home? Or is everybody condo, everybody duplexes and quads in this room? Okay, just want to make sure. Because what we're going to also be doing is that we've done the first year and the second year, we're going to be putting a discounted price out to single family homeowners here that why we're here doing the HOA project, as soon as we get with the HOA project, we'll come in and paint their houses. And a lot of the houses here are the same size except for the two story. Most people, so if you have neighbors that have single family homes in here, let them know. We're gonna be putting an email blast out to save people money. Usually it's about four to six hundred dollars that we've been saving off the normal retail pricing around here because my guys are here and we have the supplies to do the work. So let anybody neighbors know you'll see it when it comes across an email. Going through and painting the houses, just like earlier, we'll be putting a notice on your door. We'll be coming through pressure washing, you'll know ahead of time. Same thing with the back porches. You have to take everything off the walls that you have on the back porches, okay? Uh, a lot of people live on their back porches, so this can be difficult for some, okay? Now, don't freak out. We all have neighbors who are widows on the male side, on the female side. If you ask my guys for some help to move something off your porch, they're gonna help you. Yeah. Okay? Every, my guys treat everybody like family out here, okay? They don't want to go through and do anything on your back porch with disrupting anything. If I get a text on my phone, can't get into a back porch, they're going to text me, I'm going to send it to her, she sends an email out, she has ways to contact you that I don't have. So, so everything has to come off the back porch? Well, mm -hmm. not everything. If it's a day that we're going to be, we're going to be painting, if you take everything off the walls, I, we got tchotchke all around. Just the walls, not Just the, the walls. floor. Because they don't paint the floors. They don't do the floors, but you move everything. Sure you know that. Move everything towards the outside of the porch, and our guys will be in and out really quick. What about ceilings? Do you do the ceilings? On the, on the back side, yes. They usually go through and do the ceilings and painting. All the draw, anything that's within that stucco area, sir. But we have to have that painted. We don't want your patio painting. Because that's the way it was before. The way it was before, where you, you, you didn't. You had an option not to have your... your <laughs> I painted my own, is what I'm saying. Listen, if you don't want your back porch painted, put a sign on that exterior door. I mean, 
Or keep it locked. Yeah. Keep it locked. Keep it, right? Because they won't get in then. And that was my question because a lot of us put an extended our patios and bought a lot of expensive tile to match that color. Yes, sir. And so if you come and change the color, it's it's going to look stupid. Well, where do you live, sir? Old Mesa. Okay. Uh, okay. That that you come to that meeting with Wayne right. and you guys discuss that. We might have to change the way we do things. That we're okay. We can adapt. But I understand. Well, from what I understand, that, and this was last year's meeting, is that all the quad and villa owners have to get together and choose a color because the colors can't be the same next to each house, right? So my first question was, if you don't, if you have four people living or two people living, and you don't come to an agreement on what color, how does it get resolved? And my second question was the patio. Can we keep it the same? Color. That would yeah. be a question for that meeting that's right. being talked about. Yeah, okay. we'll, so we'll go right. over all that. You'll find out. I mean, I um, so he said not ne not next week, but the week after. Okay. They'll email. have all the colors, you know, chosen at that time. We can discuss it all. Okay. Everything that needs to be our, discussed. We'll our talk about that. Our project is not starting here. Uh, I, I thought these our guys, our guys have to do the roof clean first. Not the paints. colors. Not having paints to do with the colors. Paints not going to start out here for almost four to five weeks, sir. Yeah. How about the outside light fixtures that are all faded? Are you going to paint those? No, we don't. That's not part of our contract, but there's been some really persuasive homeowners in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, don't tell them that. I'm just <laughs> telling them that, man. They're like, <laughs> the girl they, hey, what's your name? Hey, will you take these off and this and that and this and that? He's like, okay. So my guys are pretty good. There's one gentleman that's been here with me. He heads this project. His name is... Antonio. Antonio's from Guatemala. He is, he takes his work very seriously and constructive criticism, he's the guy that takes constructive criticism to the next level. So he takes himself very seriously and when I told him, I said, hey, I'm putting you down for South Shore Falls. No problem, I got all the paint colors, we're good. So I'm telling you, my guys, I think they did a couple homeowners job. The homeowner took the lights down, left them in the yard, they painted them and made them look really nice, and then the homeowner put them back up, and the guy threw them probably like 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, these guys are, you know, they're nice like that. Okay. Sir, with the, the, uh, I, uh, I have a port in hurricane shutters. Do we all work around those? Yes, we do. That's a great question. Thank you for bringing that up, because that was the next thing on the two more things down the list. Um, a lot of people have storm shutters and they have a rack system that's bolted right to the wall, okay? You have your choice, sir. If you want us to paint those to match the exterior, we'll paint. If not, I usually tell my guys to tape it and leave it white, okay? okay? Why did you paint this? I tell the guys, tape it up because I don't, can't take paint off something I don't paint. So. Our, our method moving forward with any kind of shutters is they usually tape all that, paint the body and everything around it. <coughs> Previous paintings, the homeowner had the option to get the wood and I for painted at the homeowner's cost. Is that yes. an option? Yes, that's an option. Um, that's a case-by-case -case scenario. We don't put that in any of our contracts with the HOA. That would be something simply between you and my painter. Okay. They're pretty good about that. Again, if any, let me repeat this question because this was a very good question. If you want your back porch painted, your, your floor, your lanai painted, it's not an HOA thing, it's a homeowner issue. If you have the paint and you go down to see, God, I want to make sure, I want to say Wanda, I don't but think it's Wanda. Is it Wanda? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Okay. Lisa. Lisa. Um, she's, she's a great store manager down there at Ruskin. Um, she, you go down and buy the paint, I'm coastal painting. I want coastal paintings pricing. Okay? Because if not, they're going to take advantage of you, like a retail homeowner. Say, I'm doing a job down here and just use coastal painting, and the Philip told me I can use his pricing, and they're going to give you pricing, probably going to save you 15, 20 bucks on a gallon of paint. But get the floor paint. If the paint's there, when the guys are painting, you just tell them, and whatever you guys work out, God bless America. Okay? But they will tape off any of your back porch. They will go through and tape the metal off and everything else. And when they leave, it'll look like they were never there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, sir, in the back. Does that go to the same for the front screened-in areas? 
Those are not, yeah, those are those same thing for those. They're not on the they're not on the HOA contract. But you can do the same thing with the front too, sir. No, I mean the front of the, the exterior walls there inside of the screen in They're gonna paint those walls, but they're not gonna touch the floor, sir. Oh right. We're not yeah. I'm not worried about the floor. Okay, I thought it was a floor question. Yeah. No. Yes, sir. Yeah, what's the story on the drain pipes in the house? I don't want to. Yeah, I, I was going to bring that up too. Okay. I'm glad you did. Because right. <laughs> we're going to talk about like the downspouts. Right now they're brown, let's just say as an example, they're brown. Um, and your um, um, building is beige. Um, we paint those to match the, the building. So those are painted beige. And it blends in, so they're blended in that way. Is that That's how concrete? Are you going to have an option? That's no, 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 no. Way. It's not. They're going to paint those walls, but they're not going to touch the floor, sir. Oh, right. We're not, yeah. I'm not worried about the floor. Okay. I thought it was a floor question. Yeah. No. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's the story on the drain pipes in the house? I don't want to. Yeah, I, I was going to bring that up too. Okay. I'm glad you did. Because right. <laughs> we're going to talk about like the downspouts. Right now they're brown, let's just say as an example, they're brown. Um, and your um, um, building is beige. Um, we paint those to match the, the building. So those are painted beige. And it blends in, so they're blended in that way. Is that That's how concrete, or are you going to have an option? That's no, 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 no. Way. It's not an option because if you look that's how it's been done. If I take the pipes off, after you paint and I put them back up, is that okay? Well, no, because you're going to look different than everybody else in the community then. And the, and the, and the object is for everybody to look uniform. But they look like hell with the same color as the drain. Right. I've seen other houses. Okay. That's well, that's a, that's a matter of opinion. Okay. I mean, I know, I know. If you want, the reason we came with the sort of, if you walk the clubhouse here, you look at all the gutters, they're all painted the same color, and it blends in smoothly. It's something for HOAs and condos and townhomes throughout the state of Florida. It's something that they do. And it's, it's, Josh, yes. Wayne previously at a board workshop because our original bylaws say specifically if you add gutters, if you want them to, they have to be bronze. We were required to buy bronze, right? And not, you can sign off and have your gutters and downspouts remain bronze as we purchase them. Yeah. They that don't touch the right. gutters. They don't. They don't touch That's the gutters at all. That's downspouts too, though. That's your downspouts and everything. He said if you do not want them painted, we have to let you all know that they will not be painted. Is that your committee on the board? Do you handle that? That is for Wayne. No, no, no. Are you okay. on the board? Do you right. handle that? Because he's going to be having okay. another meeting, and that would be a okay. topic to discuss. That is an option. That's, That's an option. Oh. Okay, it's an option. I just was. I didn't even ever see that. That was an arc thing that came out in 2018 that, Tammy, that I didn't see until just now, but I'm clarifying with everybody that you, if you want to opt out and not have your downspout down painted, you can do so, but you'll have to sign a paper, you know, opting it out, just so we have it in paper knowing that you do it. But, okay, never saw that paper before. We had our uh, downspout damaged at the bottom, so we would have been in trouble to replace part of it with the other painting. So I'm glad we have an option. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We changed the color of okay. our villa if everyone agrees to one of the other colors. That's, a, that's an HOA question, ma'am. We're gonna, so it's the only areas of the, the, the Mystic areas they're talking about changing the colors on Mystic, and they're gonna be having a separate meeting towards that. We're the only one that is painted a totally different color than any of the other ones and we have a terrible brown color with a terrible beige trim everyone else has white i will send an email to your board members ma'am to address that at another meeting yep. I know. I I don't, all i do is come in and do what i'm told ma'am i can't change things well we'll have that address though <laughs> well you know we'll get that to wayne and we'll ask him about that if, if we can do that okay no, so, could you have my email? Just send me an email, okay? With Donna, your address and everything. Did you ever pass over my email about the one side of the street is all different colors, our side, except for one unit is all the same. And what street are you on? Blue water. Okay. 
we'll we'll have to talk about that at the um, at the meeting that Wayne's going to have. You know uh, about the colors of changing the. Well, you, know, the you know, just because the street one side is. Right, I understand. Is. Right now, we're just trying to get everybody straightened out. Is there any other questions in reference to the scope yeah. of painting that anybody has any questions on? You do it in the front door? Yes, we do the front doors. Uh, the shutter question we answered, we're going to be taping off your shutters. If it's white metal that's up there, that's probably powder coated metal. We're going to be taping it off. We're not going to paint that. Our, our method of doing it, if I did paint it to blend in, a lot of people are like, oh, go ahead and paint it, blend in. It's that one homeowner says, I told you not to paint. I don't. We just tape everything off and not paint them at all. So the, are the doors being painted the same color? Or are they doors are being painted the same color. If you have a friend or... <laughs> I try my best. I fly. I, I, I wish I could do a lot of different things. But in this particular situation, we paint the color of the door because it's an HOA and everything has to be systematically approved. Yeah, everything has to be the doors removed from the frame? No, the doors are not removed from the frame. Okay. A lot of people have storm doors. Got to have access to get in there and paint the doors. What, did you did you mention a time frame for this? We're going to be looking at starting. We're coming in doing the roof clean for the first six weeks. Um, okay. From the 11th, we're probably going to be coming in here to start painting probably by the end of March. Okay. More more plenty of time for the, some of the questions to be answered by Wayne in that special meeting. Um, yeah, lots of time for that. Recommendations. If your house is being painted and you have a container where you can keep touch-up paint, why my painter is there, he'll be here for a while. We have a lot of stuff to paint. You can track him down, but when he's on your street, he's got that same color, you go up there and he will put paint in a sealable container for you to have. If not, you got to go down to Sherwood Williams and grab it. And they don't give free paint samples. So the owner needs to supply the container. The owners need to supply the container. Okay. Why my painter's there? Cool. Cool whip the helps, bro. Huh? Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool. There you perfect. go. Cool whip works yeah. great. <laughs> now, if you're on an end unit, just sharing this with you because. My guys are going to need water to wash out some of their paint bucket, some of their paint stuff and everything else. They're not going to trash your yard. Okay? They're going to be filling up a five gallon bucket and using it to clean and then they'll be getting it out to the drain. So please, don't freak out. Okay? Just going from the first season to the second season, now we're in the third season and trying to address as many issues. Are there going to be more issues after this meeting? Heck yes. We're all humans, right? Not everybody understands something the way other people understand it. We're here to answer questions. She has my email information. You can email her, and trust me, she's going to be emailing me. Every year we've done this, it gets, it's got easier and easier. Everybody acclimates, and it works out great. Yes, ma'am? Uh, what about if there's damage on your stucco, like the cracks, or are you going to repair those we, in the washing? Well, yes and no. There's a vinyl patch product that we use that is flexible that we put into the cracks when they're over uh, an eighth of an inch, okay? Every, all the stuck go out here in this neighborhood compared to other neighborhoods that I've done work in, this neighborhood's about a nine and a half. So I haven't seen a lot of issues. Um, I've had the landscape guy call me, hey, what's the paint color? I hit the side, I got a stucco guy coming out to fix it. My bad, my guy did it. No problem, <coughs> the paint coat color. HOA has the paint coat co colors also, depending on where you are. But to answer your question, we fill the cracks and try to seal the envelope of the house as best we can. If we have a stucco issue, my guy's gonna take a picture of it and says, what do you want me to do here? Okay, so we will address those if we do come across those. But the first two phases, we won't come across any stucco issues. Sir, garage door. Garage doors. Good do question. Them? Yes, we do. Okay, we now do. how do you get it under the seal in that? You know. Excuse me? How do you get the edges under the seal that will be, you know, the seal? We don't. There's no way we can. And if we did, you would have a heck of a lot more problems. Okay? The coating that you put that comes on your garage door is factory. Very thin. It's 
guaranteed to fade within the first two years if it's not painted. What I recommend if you come home and you see your house painted, do me this favor, because you're going to freak out if you don't. Go up to the seal, touch it with your finger, and run your finger all the way down. My guys usually do it, but if you're in direct sunlight, it's going to get hot, that paint's going to get hot, it's going to be fresh, and it's going to stick to it. It's going to hurt your garage door? No, but it's going to thump. You're going to hear a boom, and that's from it breaking. My guys usually will go through after they paint about 15, 20 minutes. They'll take their finger and run it all the way down to release that tension between the seal and the garage door. If I paint the garage door, sir, which would be very time consuming, that seal issue would be 20 times worse because then you're going to be calling me every week because every time the door opens and closes, it really seals and sticks to it. There's a reason why we don't paint it. Does everybody understand what I just said? Because I want to make sure because I don't want anybody freaking out. This is real simple, common sense. You just take your finger and run it down. My guys are usually doing it with no problem. But if your house is in direct sunlight, they can do that. But that paint might tack up a little bit. Okay? It's not going to hurt your garage door. Any other questions? I do. Bob. Two. Um, so, um, so if I have plants that are all right up next to my house and everything like that, how are they going to get behind there to paint? Well, usually the landscapers, when they come to landscape, yeah. if there's areas, now usually I'll be driving around, my guy will tell me, but they have paddles that they'll pull the plants back. Uh, my guys have tied plants back. In every situation, in every neighborhood, there's that homeowner that didn't call their HOA before they put plants in and they went ahead and put the plants in, or it could be a guy or, or a family that built, that owned the house before you. It's gonna happen, but my guys aren't gonna paint your plants, they're gonna pull them back off that wall so they can do it. In a perfect scenario, it'd be great if a landscaper can go in there and trim everything back 16 inches, but we all know that's not possible. Uh, there was Question. something with cactuses. Yeah. Somebody with cactuses and my guy called me up, I'm like, use blue tape, blue tape them back so we can paint it. Because mm -hmm. cactuses are tough, you got to be careful because they'll break. Second, Second question, question is, on my back patio, um, there's some windows in my back patio. Mm -hmm. Do I need to do anything there, um, you know, in order for you to paint around that window so it doesn't it's not painted shut or anything like that? No. Or? Our guys will wrap, they'll wrap all the windows with blue tape and plastic. Okay. Okay. Big, great. That leads me into another thought okay. topic. There are some of your windows that are going to be covered with plastic for maybe half a day. Our guys are really good about taking it off. If they start hitting rain and they pack up and they don't get the plastic off your window, don't freak out. They're going to get it off the next day or when the rain stops. Our guys do not paint in the rain. I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue because they get a lot of their stuff done before too. Yes, sir. Yeah, are you spray painting or is it all roll up? And the no. reason I mention it is because if you had a car in the driveway and it's windy, you got to get it that lot of area. So. Yeah, and that's going to be on the notice that you go to the door. We spray and we back roll. Why do we do that? Because the spray will get into a lot more crooks and crevices, but on an area that has a lot of, like, Let's say we have a, an issue where I see a lot of stucco, where we got little minute cracks, okay? And it's usually on the end units. It's never on the interior, it's always on the end unit. Rather than go through and put vinyl patching on these units, I'm just putting that patch in there and pushing it in. And then we paint, and you look at it, and you're like, you look at, man, it looks like an anaconda. We don't do that. We'll put the stucco patch in the areas where it needs and then I'll order a five gallon bucket of buildup paint. And it's almost like a soupy type of pancake mix paint, same color. And we'll spread that on pretty thick so that'll fill the cracks because I don't like anybody's side of their property looking like an ant farm. It's the truth. I mean, these are just you know things that happen. But everything built out here, your structures of all your walls, it's really good. So, yes ma'am? A lot of people have paint allergies, so what type of paint? What we're we're using Sherwin-Williams Locks on Clear Sealer, and we're using uh, Sherwin-Williams Super Paint. And that is acrylic based? It's acrylic, it's an acrylic latex product that's water-based. <laughs> so if you happen to touch or get any pants, it'll wash off with water. 
as far as allergies go, the only, well, the, that and that's usually towards interior paint. But there are products that they use for hospitals that show the Williams has for the inside of the house that'll be good for any kind of allergies, but the exterior no. Yes, ma'am. What are your guys' hours? Um, they're usually on the job starting by about 8, 8 30, getting started, and they'll work till about 6. Okay. Just what did you do? Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday, okay. Some of them have families and they like to take off and go to church with the family and come back and work. We actually have a condo for our guys a half a mile down the road, and it's going to house them all sleep sick, so it's really nice by the water. Great. Airbnb. <laughs> Um, there's got to be more questions. You guys are leaving me hanging. Sir. Um, just wondering the orders of various streets. We're part of the year residents. So yeah. Kind of like to know before we leave. When are you, leave, when are you leaving? Uh, end of April. End of April. We're going to be starting before the end of April, and you're be getting an email blast to your email on file with her in reference to where we're starting. I think she took a copy of the map and brought it up and let everybody know we're going to be going from this section to this section to this section. Let me, let me, let me just, oh. here's what I get, sir. You can see I'm not as spread out as the last couple years. I know you can't see it in the back, but if you can see the orange and the yellow, yeah, it's going to be real simple. We're mainly just in two big sections this year. Okay. Oh, so something that's not colored is not going to be painted? Yeah, something that's not colored is not going to be painted. I don't know yet. I'm One not. orange and yellow mean villa or five. Wow. Yep. No, I don't Two make that decision. So small pawn. Hmm? I'm sorry. But, yeah, you're exactly right. The orange are the quads, right? Uh, it says it's at the bottom of that. It has the... Yeah, the orange are the quads and the yellow are the villas. Um, Mystic is a big concept. We'll probably start out with the bigger concentrations. It's either going to be Mystic, um, it's either going to be Mystic or it's going to be, um, is that blue water back there? Mm -hmm. yeah. On the back side there. Somebody's over here wanting to give me 20 bucks to start on Mystic. <laughs> yeah. no. but, um, well, the, the, the Mystic's going to be a hot topic because they're going to be changing colors there. So that's going to be another meeting to uh, make sure everybody attends. Okay, um, any other? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, like last year when we ended, we were thinking, oh, we're going to be next. We're the very last villa on sunset before the back day. All by ourselves. Everybody around us has been done. Well, why don't I would love to have us done it. Head of the game because of our travel and everything. I understand. You're on the list for this year? Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay. When are you try to, we, we try to listen, you guys. We, we have company coming in. We tried our best to accommodate. I mean, I've had, I've had people with heart surgery. Don't touch my house until, don't know if I'm going to be alive in three weeks. So we're totally respectful. We're going to Put that email to Donna. Donna's really attentive on things because I'm going to get a complete list of everything that I need to do before we start the job. I just don't want to be lost in the shuffle since we're all back to buy us That's no yeah. problem. I understand. There's we're someone around the corner from you on Sunset. There is somebody around the corner from you, but I yeah. see um, that. Um, sunset, yes, ma'am. Sunset. Yes, ma'am. So what is the cost of the homeowner, if any, other than the extras you've mentioned? Well, my guys will usually paint a back patio for 40 bucks. People throw them 40, 50 bucks to paint. They, they go out and get the paint and have the paint there. For the floor, yeah. That's usually what. I, I'm just giving things out there. And Tony's going to take care of everybody. But, I mean, the general house, the general house, the paid by the HOA. No, the floor painting is no. The house, the house is paid by the HOA. This is a six year did I answer everything? Anybody have any other questions? Any other questions after today? Please email Donna and I will handle those. Sir, are you in the back? You, you good? You just waved? All right. Yes, ma'am. I just want to make sure if we do not want our front door changed, we don't have to. I will cover it up. That's an HOA question. 
But I need to know before we start on your road. So if you get a sign on your garage that's letting you know we're going to be buying the new pressure washing and painting in the next couple days, that would be the time, preferably before that, to let somebody know. I would suggest going to the meeting that Wayne's going to be having a reference to some of the paint things and get that answer. <coughs> yes, ma'am. There was permission granted for people to leave it in the street if they wanted to. But during the day. During the during day. During the day is fine. But as far as painting and coming and going, if they're painting your house, they're going to be really good. You walk out your front door, if they've got stuff taped off on the garage door, let them know. You know, say, hey, i got to get my car out. They're going to say, no problem. Open it up, and then it doesn't take that much time for them to paint the garage door and for it to tack out. It takes about 15, 20 minutes for the paint to tack up. Okay? I don't think that's going to be an issue, man. It'll be real easy. All right. I'd like to thank everybody for showing up.